In this video, we're going to talk about how to come up with a video podcast name for your upcoming show for your business. Check it out. What's going on, everybody? My name is Karim Mustafa. I'm co-founder and CEO of Tribe Tactics. And in this series of videos, we basically want to give you everything that you need to be able to plan and grow your very own video podcast series for your business or video series in general for your business. And today we're going to be talking about none other than picking a name for your upcoming show. Especially if this is your first time creating a show, uh, thinking of a name might be something that's a little bit ambiguous or just a little bit uh, daunting even because like, where do you even start? Do you pick your company name as the show name? Do we just um, like copy other ideas that we've seen and tweak it a little bit? How do we exactly get started? So I did have a couple of ideas um, that I wanted to share with you just based on our months and years of experience doing this for other brands as well. The first thing is that, you know, you shouldn't really f worry too much about picking the quote unquote perfect name because that is a myth. And also like people will learn to love your show when they see you consistent with it and when they see what that show is about. So think of the Joe Rogan experience, for example. Think of, you know, uh, facebook.com. Think of, you know, uh, nike.com. Think of any brand name or any podcast show name, uh, you know, that you may have come across before and think of like how you actually think of that specific brand. And if you really drill down deep into it, some of these names are not necessarily um, you know, super creative or anything like that, as much as it is something that just, you know, has strong brand recognition and uh, a strong positive emotion uh, attached to it, right? If you if you are fans of, of these brands and the same goes for your show. So definitely don't worry too much about picking the quote unquote, like perfect name, just pick a name that is different from your company name, right? Because this way you can tell, you can say, you know, the so-and-so show uh, brought to you by your company name, right? So for example, uh, this series of videos is called Original Series Academy, which is brought to you by Tribe Tactics, right? Our company. So give your give yourself the opportunity to create a new sub brand and use that as an opportunity to create a video podcast for your business in terms of naming it. So that's the first point. Uh, don't, don't worry too much about the name uh, as much as the consistency of uh, the episodes as you continue to create them. The second point, and now to really get into how to pick a name for, for your podcast, the second point I wanted to share with you is, um, so it's actually two parts. So first of all, you can take a descriptive approach to coming up with your name, which is to basically keep it simple and you know, pretty much pick a name that describes exactly what your show is about, right? So if you have a show around, for example, uh, e-commerce marketing for um, you know, a specific niche or a specific sector, you may decide to come up with a name that is related to that specifically. Or if you're doing something you know, in the uh, fintech space, uh, again, for a specific industry, you may decide to come up with that um, uh, a name basically that would follow that approach, which makes it a bit easier to discover as well, potentially, right? So the descriptive approach could be a, an easy and foolproof way to do it. There's also an alternate way, which is the second part to this, uh, which is basically taking an abstract slash curiosity approach. So to basically pick a name that doesn't have a direct meaning on purpose, uh, something that's almost abstract, or almost random, or even an inside joke. And then you could, over time, build uh, affinity with that name and, and people will start to uh, know exactly like what this show is about. And it almost becomes like a secret handshake for the community of people that get attracted to this show. And as they start to promote it and as they start to spread word of mouth on your behalf. So you can basically take the, descript the descriptive approach or the uh, abstract slash, you know, invoking curiosity approach. Last but not least is you can actually look at adjacent industries and how uh, you know, people who have created shows in these industries, how they've went about coming up with names. An easy way to get a list of uh, podcast names to be able to compare like how different people go about their, their naming style is to simply go to Apple Podcasts or go to Spotify Podcasts and just have a look at some of the different names, especially if you look at different industries that have nothing to do with your own specific industry. Let's say you are in 
uh, in IT, for example, try and pick something that's as far away from that as possible. Or think of, you know, even if it is in your specific industry, you could also think about that. But sometimes the biggest source of creativity comes when you look at industries that are far removed or super adjacent from what you are currently doing. That's how you start to come up with more original ideas in the context of your specific industry and your specific use case. So to summarize, uh, first of all, don't worry too much about the name as long as you stick to it. That's the goal. Number two is you can take a descriptive approach or you can take a um, curiosity slash abstract approach to actually coming up with your name. And last but not least is to definitely look at other industries and the podcasts that came out of those industries to see if you can draw any interesting um, you know, connections that will give you ideas on creating your own name. So guys, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you on the next video.